Hello, my crafty friends. In this video, I wanted to share with you the She Load of Cards sketch from Alicia and the cards that I'm going to make with them. I'm going to be doing my So You Only Have 10 Minutes series. And these are the papers that I have chosen. This is from my Club EP January kit. I have ephemera, I have my card bases. I was glad to finally get to use some of my blue. This isn't as thick as my white cardstock that I used, but I thought this went well with the colors of the paper. And I will be cutting off camera, so I, I will be back shortly to show you that. We are going to round the corners of the mat and the two pieces of pattern paper. And I did have to substitute because I kind of messed up on this paper. Directional paper is always difficult. <laughs> so I went ahead and cut this instead. All right, let us go ahead and start the clock. And we're gonna round the matting and the pieces of pattern paper. That will probably take this 10 minutes. And also, I wanted to add that the cutting took a little bit longer than the 10 minutes, I think. Probably 15, 20 by the time I figured out that I had ruined this and got another piece. So we can add two more sessions onto that. Okay, 10 minutes. We're going to round. This is my Stampin' Up! Corner Punch. You get three different designs. This is a lot better than the one I had before. But of course, now my desk is going to be littered with pieces. It's always how it is, isn't it? We clean up our desks, they're nice and neat. Of course, then the minute we start another project. No, she uses one eighth measurements in this one. This is a throwback from her April 2009 sheet load. She used to do these 10 years ago, she said. The paper I, I picked out for the mat is Mint Macaron from Stampin' Up! And it matches this perfectly. Okay, there's the matted pieces. And then we're going to cut or trim off the smaller pieces here. So let me grab all those. What I did notice when I was doing the unboxing was the, the really pretty watercolor effect. Um, the, the creator of this used watercolor. I think it's Beautiful. Okay. Let's put these aside and just work on these. See all my little bits? I guess 
I need to use just a, a regular nondescript um, throwaway quote unquote piece of paper to practice with to get the dimensions just right on the sheet load because in this particular set there was only one piece of 12 by 12 of this so I was kind of out of luck. Okay, there's those. Now we will start Okay. I knew I'd put it out here. Okay, I did make little bitty flags with my punch. I've got a small flag punch to kind of you know to the, the uh, other paper wasn't a total loss. Okay. So it's going to go just like that. Make a nice little border. There we go like a funny shape D. I also have snowflake paper from Stampin' Up! Designer Series Paper. So I have lots of snowflake paper, but it's all different. Like I said, the Carter Bella has a nice thicker texture to it. Progress, not perfection. Some of these will not be smack in the middle and make an even, perfectly even border. And I think for the ink that I'm going to use on the inside, I might use uh, dapper denim because it looks like that. The, the darker blue it can kind of lend to that color a little bit. Okay. Maybe this goes... Okay. That one goes all the way across. Not sure how. I told you I'm not good with measurements. That's why I don't cut on camera. Because it would take me way longer than 10 minutes. Okay. Last but not least. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, okay. Oh, ha! <laughs> Scared me there. Okay, now last but not least, we have two minutes.
I think I will go ahead and make this. No, let's go ahead and put this on. I don't usually make the A-frame cards, but I thought I would this time. So we put this on the front first. Okay. Aha! I think I see what I did wrong already. Or let's say different. Okay, let's put this on. And Okay, that's that's why, because this was supposed to come to the edge. Kind of like what she did for last month. But yeah, let's just put these on first, since we're running out of time. I love these cocoa cups. Okay, there we are. In 10 minutes. These took a little bit more prep work, but that's what makes them pretty. Okay, I've got three backs on the, the, the first matting. I got these done, even though I didn't do it correctly. That makes sense now why I'm not getting a border here. I think it'll still be okay. Yeah, yeah it'll be okay. Please be sure to join me for the next installment of so you only have 10 minutes using Alicia's February 2021 sheet load. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.